Good morning, Tank Gems. Well, I'm taking a break for Glendio 43, which I've been trying to do for a while this morning now. I just cannot get my head around that tank at all. I think it's one of those tanks where it is honestly not that suited to the way I play. I mean, it ticks boxes. It's it's a tier 6 medium. I love tier 6 mediums. It's a fast tier 6 medium. I mean, that's, that's what... I, I crave, I really enjoy playing those sort of things, but it's difficult because it involves, I think, having more patience than I sort of possess normally. The problem isn't the tank, the problem is me. I know that what I, th well, I know what I think I need to do. What I want to try and do in the A43 is let sort of the battle unfold. And then once I've seen where everyone is, where both my friends are and the enemy are, then I commit to this is where I'm going to go in the A43. But that's difficult because it kind of involves not committing to the fight early and one of the things that I notice I tend to do in every game and every tank is be quite aggressive. I, I like being at the front, I like blowing stuff up, I like leading the way, I like being the guy that shoots the things. And that also means I'm the guy that gets shot at a lot. Now in some tanks that's not necessarily the problem. I mean the big British Churchill tanks, you, you can get shot at a bit and no one's going to really care too much. But in an A43, <laughs> Your armour is non-existent and the only thing that you've got to keep you alive is basically going fast. So if you can't use that because you've been pinned down straight away, you, you're going to die and that's what happens. I die a lot. I mean, I die a little inside every time I play the A43, but that's not the same as what's actually happening here. So I need to learn to play fast tanks in a way that's not entirely suicidal. And the problem is, is I think the Cromwell spoiled me because it's a, you know, here it is, it's a, it's a tier SU-85 waiting for me to cross the hill. Man, this flank is in trouble, says Mark, and noticing that the score is 1-5. to five. And we are in a lot of trouble in general. They are capping everyone who ran this way is basically dead. The shells are beginning to land and I think this is probably a loss. There is no way that me, this type T-34, this sort of Chinese knockoff of a Russian tank, is going to be able to stop an OXV. There's the Excelsior, there's a bloody SU tank destroyer. No, this mate is time for discretion being the better part of that. Maybe we could just pick them off as they come around to kill us. It might be it smelling blood and you know, type T-34 kills on them. I haven't done anything this game. Should be criticizing other people. Okay. Here comes the party. They have brought it to us. Aim further side. Bonk. Okay. Well, this is an example of what not to do in modern tanks. Look at that. Oh, that's a clean up crew. I don't know... I'll be interested actually watching the replay to see how our team was distributed across the map on this one because... I swear there were more people on... on going sort of in, a, in the top of the direction. And now, yeah, it's just a clean up crew of four tanks. There you go. Uh, welcome to World of Thanks. So, good news. Football mode is coming soon. That will be less disastrous, hopefully. Or at least, if it is disastrous, it will be funny. 